What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we actually managed to defeat the first round of the Gym Leader Castle, and that is Brock, of course, and now it is time for us to go to Misty. Now, off screen, I did power up a few good Pokemon here and there, because you know what, I did say that I was going to be a little bit more diverse with the Pokemon that I have. So, let's go right ahead and uh, use another registration. For the team that I have, of course, we're using the Pokemon, every single Johto Pokemon, that, or every single Kanto Pokemon that we've used in every single walkthrough. As you can see, I got Dubasaur, I got Tornada, Big Hammer, and Mew De Uno is making a return right here, Butt Kiss, and Smasher. So, let's go right ahead and put everybody onto this team right here because, I, oh yeah, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a fun one with Misty and all that stuff. So, here it is. Okay, and everybody has been registered as team number two. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and go straight to the next challenge, which is Misty's uh, Misty's gym, I think. I think I don't even know. So, like I said, last episode defeated Brock easily. Now it is time for Misty right here. As you can see, she has a Fisher, a junior female, a swimmer, and herself, gym leader Misty. So let's go right ahead and pick out our crap baskets. Wrong team. Let's go to the registered Pokemon right here. As you can see in our last episode, we used our original team from Pokemon Yellow, which is Thrasher, Godzilla, Tank, Sparky, Ultra Psycho, and Hydro. Now in this one right here, we're going to be using Dubasaur, Tornado, Big Hammer, Mew De Uno, Butkus, and Smasher. So let's go right ahead and use these bastards right here. Okay. So here we go. It's Cerulean Gym Battle. It's time. And this guy has... Uh... This guy has some uh, nice Pokemon right there. It'd be a shame that, you know, I destroy him quickly. So, let's see. We do have a grass type Pokemon. Of course, Mew De Uno has to be in there. And, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and finish it off with... Let's go fi finish it off with Tornado. Now, in Pokemon Stadium... Well, my goal is to make Pokemon Stadium kind of a kind of a thing to or a redemption tour for the Pokemon that I have not used, like Dubasaur. I never evolved him in Pokemon. Uh, what was it called in Pokemon Yellow? I sort of put him back into the PC because, well, I chose a very very good team right here. And now look at that critical hit. It's over for Wartorish. Oh yes. So Pokemon, so Pokemon like Dubasaur, Big Hammer, and uh, and Tornado, they will get a redemption right here. They will finish off somehow. And here comes a Carpish and crap baskets on a popsicle stick. A level 86 one. Couldn't even evolve them and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and use another Razor Leaf to finish this guy off right here. And wow, <laughs> yeah, Magikarp is faster than than Dubasaur, but guess what? Dubasaur, Razor Leaf for the win. Another critical hit. Yeah, I don't know why you came out with a Magikarp. Do not know. Alrighty, okay. Yeah, this is a this is a <laughs> this is going to be easy right here. So here ha here he comes out with a Squirtle. I was actually hoping he would come out with a with Tentacle. That would have actually worked out, but turns out this guy doesn't want to win. So let's go right ahead and finish him off with the Razor Leaf attack right here. Oh yes, another critical hit. We're spamming this critical hit. A clean sweep. Dubasaur, fully evolved and ready to kick ass. Kind of pent up anger because we didn't even uh, finish with this Pokemon right here. So there it is, guys. That's round one finish. And well, look at that. Another victory for us right there. So now we're gonna be continuing on right here with Junior Female. And, well, I, I see that this girl actually has a, a little bit more diversity on her Pokemon. As you can see, she has an electric, ground, and normal type, even a psychic type Pokemon right here. So, this, we, when this happens, guys, we have to actually find the common denominator for all of these Pokemon. So, as you can see, both Pidgey and C, uh, Cedra, both weak against water type Pokemon. So, or no, no, not water type Pokemon, electric type Pokemon. So, let's see. If I go with Dubasaur, which he's basically trying to get me to, to do, I'm probably going to get a Kadabra right here. So what we're going to do right here is we're actually going to go with Mew De Uno. Save, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Uh, you know what? We're gonna go with Smasher. And a gut feeling says, let's go with Dubasaur right here. Alrighty, let's go. Kind of scary because this guy, this chick has a diverse team, and here is Mew, and she's coming out with a C, uh, Cedra. Luckily for us, Mew to Uno can learn any move, so we do have Mega Drain as a cover effect right here. Look at this, I was prepared. Mega Drain and its energy has been sucked up, and that is not enough right there. Good gravy. And here comes a smoke screen attack. So our accuracy has fallen right there. Now this is going to be a little bit more of a tough battle because, of course, you know, no more accuracy. We're going to have to go with our strength right here. Let's go with the psychic attack. And it's a critical hit. Yes, sir. And good gravy. It survives by a nut. And look at this. Going with the bubble beam. Wow. Okay. So at this point, we're going to have to actually switch right here. So we're going to be switching straight to Dubasaur just for the coverage right here. That, and I have a feeling that, you know, we're just going to be missing attacks here. And all, like, that's just my luck right there, guys. It, it really is. So here we go. Dubasaur making its return right here. And here comes another Bubble Beam. Not going to be effective. It's only going to lower nothing. Oh, look at that. Not so effective. Okay, take a look at his retinas when he does a, a Razor Leaf right here. So let's go, Razor Leaf attack for the win. And you gotta love the jets that are above my, um, yeah, that are above my <laughs> apartment right here. And here comes another smoke screen. So yeah, this one right here is going to be a little tough since we are using Razor Leaf, not that accurate, and it is super critical. And yeah, buddy, say goodbye to Cedra. Okay, so who's next? Okay, I have a feeling it's Kadabra, probably. And uh, no, it is Pippity A Pippity Okay, so that is going to change right there. We're actually going to be going to Smasher right here because, yeah, Smasher, uh, ground type Pokemon, not, not going to be affected as much, but it does have a little bit of coverage with a Thunder Attack right here. Just hopefully this, this Pidgey. Oh, look at that! <laughs> It's a different color and wrap baskets. Here we go. Here we go with a uh, accuracy. F oh crud! So we can't really use. Yeah, we cannot use thunder right now because that will actually uh, miss. So we're gonna go with the body slam and that one actually hits it. Not paral. Not paralyzing this Pokemon right here. And here it comes again with another sand attack. So now we're playing. Yeah, okay, so that's two down. Let's try and go for a surf attack. Hopefully this actually makes this guy, or hits this guy. And here we go, surf attack. Hits him again, and it nearly finishes it off. Good gravy. Okay, so it's using mirror move, and right there and then it hits me with my own attack, and that right there is super effective. Good gravy. Okay, so <laughs> they're making it tough for me right here. Let's go! Come on, Smasher! Finish it! Going with a Surf Attack, and it's a critical hit. Say goodbye. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so there we go with another Pokemon Fainted. And she's got one more. I'm assuming it's a Kadabra right here, right? No, it's a Jigglypuff. Okay, so now... Here, here's a little bit of a problem because we do have double kick. We might miss because uh, the accuracy and all that stuff. And okay, so it's hit it and, and look at that, super effective. And that, that double kick looks pretty funny right there. And here we go again with another accuracy. And uh, well, yeah, from there we're gonna have to switch. Yeah, we're gonna have to switch our Pokemon. So let's go straight to Mew de Uno just so we can clear off this whole like accuracy. And, uh, well, if Mew de Uno faints, then it, it is what it is. At least it's, take, it's doing its part right here. So here we go with Mew de Uno. And here comes a body slam from uh, Jigglypuff. And how are we paralyzed off of a balloon? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with Tri Attack. I wanted, I, I've been wanting to use Tri Attack for quite some time, and here comes a Psy Wave. Oh man, we are, yeah, we are getting mollywhopped right here. Come on, Mew De Uno. Come on, Tri Attack. Does it? Okay, so yeah. It's not a furious battle, man. We're just getting our butts kicked right now. Holy crud. Okay, so here comes a Double Edge Attack, and that takes care of Mew De Uno. 
Ah, oh, jeebus. <laughs> we're the worst Mew trainers ever. Okay, so since that happened, we're going to go back to Smasher since it, you know, it's not... Well, its accuracy is not affected anymore, so there it is. Smasher right again. Flesh into his, you know what's And here we go with a double kick attack. Let's get this double kick for the win. One, two. And there goes Jig Jig. Yeah, buddy. Okay, it's all about the strategy magic. And look at that. Throwing out that peace sign. And, uh, well, we're going to be moving on to the next Pokemon trainer. This Pokemon trainer right here was very diverse with her Pokemon. To really think about just switching it up just a little bit more. So here we go. We're going up against a swimmer right here. And well, Swimmer's looking uh, like he's yelling and all that stuff, and he does have some fighting type Pokemon or a nice diverse team right here too. So let's see, the common denominator in this one is oh, it's very simple. Wow, it is. It's very very simple. Let's go right ahead and let's see. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna do it again. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. And let's go with this guy right here. So we're going to go with the same Pokemon. Hopefully it's a better result right here. And here we go with Mew de Uno. And here's a Meowmer. We're going to expect to see a Battle of the Ages. So let's go right ahead and use a Psychic Attack right here. Come on, Mew de... Oh, what the hell? Okay, so Mew's a little faster than us, and it missed. Okay, so that right there spares us. So let's go. Psychic attack. Takes a huge chunk out of its HP. That's good, that's good. Okay, so let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with another Psychic attack. And here comes a Fury Swipes attack. And it missed again. So we're just in luck right now. So here we go. Psychic attack. Does the trick. Say goodbye to Meowmer. Okay, alrighty, okay. So we're kicking ass. We're, we're, we're getting saved. Everything's good. And here comes another Pokemon, and it is Ferrymer. It's a Clefairy right here, so... This guy's coming out with Fairy-type Pokemon, or not Fairy-type, but... Well, Fairy-types don't exist right now. So let's go right ahead again with another Psychic Attack. And yes, we are faster than this Pokemon right here. Here comes another Psychic Attack, and uh, that right there is not as useful as the other one. And here comes Psy Wave. Now, we all remember what Psy Wave can do, and that one right there hits us pretty hard. So now, yeah, we're going to we're gonna have to go with the Mega Drain right here. Now, remember, if you are playing with Mew, you can actually learn any kind of move, which is pretty awesome. And that takes a bit of its HP right there. And here comes another Psy Wave attack. Hopefully, we don't get confused in this one right here. So, there it is. Psy Beam or Psy Wave. Man, it's a... Oh, yeah. Okay. So, here we go. Psychic attack. Come on, Mew de Uno. Finish him. And there we go. A special has fallen. And we... Oh, God. Nearly defeat this guy. Oh, God. I have a bad feeling about this one. Okay. So, that was in a... Yeah, that wasn't a, as strong as it was. So let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with the Mega Drain. And uh, move on with our lives right here. Look at that. Mega Drain for the wins. Okay, alrighty. Say goodbye to Clefairy. And who is next? Who's next for the all powerful Mew de Uno? And it is Goldmer. <laughs> Not Goldberg, Goldmer. Our Goldeen. So, this is perfect for us. It is a water type Pokemon. And we are faster. So, now we got Mega Drain. So, this will actually work. And it gives us just a little bit more HP right here. But here comes a Fury Attack. And. 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. Good gravy. Okay, so. <laughs> it was just a scratch. It's, it's just a scratch. So, let's go right ahead. And do it again, another Mega Drain. While well, you keep on trying to take our or trying to take our HP with your Horn Attack or your Fury Attack, here we have Mega Drain. Alrighty, and here comes another Fury Attack. That's one missed. Okay, let's do it. Mega Drain for the win. Let's go. And that was a critical hit. Say goodbye to Goldeen. Mew de Uno sweeps up his team right here. Okay, alrighty, look at that! 
<laughs> Alrighty, okay, so there it is guys. We defeated the the last trainer in this gym challenge. And now it is time for us to take on Misty. So let's go right ahead and welcome uh, one of our gym girlfriends, you know, Misty. The redhead wonder. Okay, and look at this. She's got herself a stack team. And it's looking to us. It's looking like. Yeah, it's looking like we can actually beat this team. So let's go with this one right here. And well, just for just for our shits and giggles, let's go with Tornada. Alrighty, so here we go, the final battle against Misty, and, uh, well, here she comes out with a Psyduck, her favorite Pokemon, not really her favorite, but it's still something of a Pokemon right here, so here we go, let's go with the Razor Leaf, and yes, we are faster than this Pokemon, Razor Leaf, does it sting, critical hit, and that takes out Psyduck, look at that! Let's go, Dubasaur. Now, that's pent-up anger. That is pent-up anger just because, well, we didn't use him for Pokemon Yellow. And, well, here comes Starmie. Now, this is scary right here because Starmie is a very powerful Pokemon. It is a psychic type. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the old thing and poison it and then use Leech Life. Here comes Thunder Wave. Oh, gravy. Okay. Alrighty, so you want to play like that? Let's go with the poison powder. Come on, work. Work, damn you. And it worked. Okay, so that's one. Now we got to use the other strategy, which is use Leech li or leech Seed. That way, its HP gets drained every single time. Here comes a swift attack. Not so effective. Do not worry. Look at that. You're getting hurt by poison. Do not worry, Dubasaur. Here we go. Leech Seed. And it was seeded. So now, oh yes, the strategy is working. Let's go right ahead and use the ultimate attack, Solar Beam. And, well, here comes a swift attack. Will it do it? Can it do it? No, it's a critical hit right there. But the big thing for Starmie is that it's getting hurt with poison and leech seed right there. So there we go. We're just, uh, <laughs> little by little, we're winning this thing. And hopefully it doesn't beat us in the next turn with a psychic attack. So, yes. Attack ready. Come on. Seriously? You don't have psychic attack? And there's a critical hit yet again. Alrighty. So, it's hurt by poison and getting seeded. Look at that. Solar beam attack for the win. Eat it. Oh, yes. Critical hit. <laughs> oh, wow. Strategic Draven style. Look at that. Okay, so <laughs> let's see what the next Pokemon is. And it is a seal, so more likely we're gonna lose on this one. It's okay, because we already got a night we already got the advantage, so let's go right ahead and use a razor leaf just in case. So here comes Blizzard. And that will actually eliminate us, so no biggie. It's okay. I got a good Pokemon for this one right here. What now, I got Mew De Uno, which I will be using. I was going to be using Fero, but Seal has that Blizzard attack. I'm not going to risk it right here, so let's go right ahead and finish this guy off right here. Let's go with the Mega Drain attack. Come on, Mew De Uno. We are the first. And critical hit. Look at that. Okay. And here comes a Surf attack. Okay, well... No biggie. We're not gonna. We're not gonna get hurt that much. Alrighty. Okay. As long as we have Mega Drain, it's all good right here. So let's go, Mega Drain. Do it. Finish it. I hope. I don't even know. And that is super effective. So as long as we're using Mega Drain, we're gonna replenish our HP. This guy has nothing on us. So here we go. Another Surf Attack. Critical hit. Holy crap! That nearly takes us out right there. So. Yeah, we're going. <laughs> yeah, we're battling. We are battling. So here we go again. Mega Drain. Give us more HP. That nearly takes him out. Oh, gravy. Okay, so here he comes out with a Surf Attack. Hopefully that doesn't make us faint right here. And that hits us, and it takes us out. Holy crud. Okay. So Mew De Uno has served his purpose. No worries. I got Tornado. Okay, so Tornado, of course, is a very, very, very fast Pokemon. Oh, Haven't used this guy in quite some time. There's he is restless. Let's use it. 
drill pack attack. Alrighty, drill pack. Does it sting? Critical hit. Say goodbye to seal. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. Yes, sir. We win another one with the second group. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. So it was a battle. It was a good one. And uh, well, there goes Misty. And we have uh, we've had, we have unlocked the next gym, which is the Vermilion City Gym, home to Electro or Electric Trainer uh, Lieutenant Surge. It says Surge right here, but as you can see, he's looking like Guile from Street Fighter and all that stuff. So that is pretty much it for this episode right here, guys. In the next episode, yes, we will be going to the Vermilion City Gym to take on Surge. Um, I know many of you guys. We're thinking, yeah, Draven's not going to be using legendaries. Well, guess what? I used the legendary Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, hence, you know, Mew to Uno. But, yes, the teams will be switching up back and forth and all that crud. And then, uh, well, yeah, we're going to be having a few surprises here and there until we get into the Pokemon Elite 4 and all that stuff. So, thank you guys again for watching this episode. I will see you guys in the next one next week. Yeah, that's right, next week when we take on Lieutenant Surge. See you guys.